Hey, this is Chris with Record Talk. So this is going to be another one of my vinyl finds videos. Um, so I went south into um, some towns in uh, western Tennessee that are f fairly close to me um, to go looking for some records. Um, so the first place I went to, um, antique store in a town that um, I hadn't been to this place before. They did have one place with some records in it. Um, they had a box with a bunch of 45s with picture sleeves. Um, and these were from the 80s. I picked up a couple of them. So this is Aretha Franklin, Freeway of Love. She has the original Walmart $1.38 sticker. I also got a Robert Palmer, Addicted to Love. Apparently Walmart thought that was a little bit more pricey. They priced that one at $1.56. Um, there are several others of this vintage. The, um, some stuff was not matching the sleeve it came with. A disappointment was there was a Blondie Rapture picture sleeve, but it wasn't a Blondie Rapture uh, record inside. So, because uh, that's like my favorite Blondie song. Um, they had some albums. Most of them were crap. Uh, they did have that Herb Alpert and the Tijuana Brass whipped cream, where. Um, and you kind of have, if you want to like sort of unlock your crate digging merit badge, you have to dig a copy of that. They had a copy for $5. The cover was kind of rough, particularly the back cover. And also, it was taped up so you couldn't actually look at the record, whereas the other used records weren't taped up that way. That seemed a bit of a red flag. Also, I didn't really want to pay $5 for that record, so I didn't buy that record. Um, went to another town, struck out, then I went to, uh, a town where there are a couple of antique malls where I have scored before, and so, um, let me show you some stuff I got. So this is Scooping Vinyl Me Please. So the Vinyl Me Please country track for this December is going to be this Buck Owens and his Buckaroos Carnegie Hall concert. Uh, from 1966, which is kind of considered to be one of the best live country albums of all time. Well, they had a copy there for $5. I looked at it. Uh, it was in bad shape. This copy was $8, but it was actually on sale for $6.40. Um, it was 20% off in the booth. This one is, it's not near mint, but it's pretty good. It's on Capitol records apparently i have the 1968 repress which actually seems to sell for a bit more than the original 1966 for whatever reason so you got buck owens uh don rich um his his partner guitar player who tragically died in a motorcycle accident in the 70s and the rest of the buckaroos it's actually a rather short album i think i'm happy to get this in an original format and then i don't have to get the vinyl me please version uh, which will be more expensive with a fancy color. But I think I'm happy with this. So I scooped Vinyl Me Please. Uh, what else did I dig out? I dug out um, some Pat Benatar, Crimes of Passion. I paid two bucks for that. And... Oh, let me pause. And then I did find this bad boy, so I did get it after all. So uh, it wasn't clickbait. I really did buy it. So I, I get my crate digging Barrett badge, especially since I paid two bucks for this rather than five dollars. The cover's not that great. Um, it belonged to, well, I'll just tell you who it belonged to. Mr. and Mrs. Earl M. Roberts from Nashville, Tennessee. And then handwritten... On the back, we get some focus. This was Lou Ann's record. Maybe Lou Ann was Mrs. Earl M. Roberts. And maybe Earl and Lou Ann had some fun with the whipped cream. Who knows? Um, then I got uh, the second place. I got a couple of records. I'm going to show you one in this video. The other one I'm going to save for a different video. So I got this Alan Parsons project, uh, The Turn of a Friendly Card. 
I didn't own any Alan Parsons. Um, it sounds really good. Um, and got that card on it. Um, Games People Play with Lenny Zakatek singing. That's probably my favorite Alan Parsons song. And then the whole suite about the turn of a friendly card kind of appeals to, like, the card player and me. And this is probably all the Alan Parsons projects that I need. And there's one more record I got on this trip that's going to be saved for another video.